So there's a rumor going around for the last couple of weeks that Marvel's Agent Carter may be ending shortly. Which makes sense in a way. And let me explain. Right now, Marvel introduced Peggy Carter in Captain America the First Avenger. We didn't see her again until the Marvel one-shot, uh, Agent Carter, which in some ways served as a backdoor pilot also for the current series. She showed up again, uh, albeit in a very aged form in Captain America the Winter Soldier, and then in Season 1 of Agent Carter, as well as Ant-Man, uh, not as aged, but um, significantly older. And now in this current season of Agent Carter. So, if the rumors are true that in Captain America Civil War, Cap and S.H.I.E.L.D. will be attending Peggy's funeral, and we know that she was uh, sick in uh, Winter Soldier, then we've got to understand that Marvel has to be kind of tying down uh, a lot of these storylines. And in many ways, they have a lot of contracts right now. And while Marvel Disney is a company um, and they have money, they're making uh, money, you know, so much money um, over fist, the problem is eventually you're going to have to start cutting contracts and it's already been rumored that uh, they're they're starting to think about like who would they be able to start casting as the next Tony Stark as the next Steve Rogers as the next Thor and it really comes down to not wanting to reboot but to keep going with what they've built on but being able to recast the role. I don't think that they're going to recast Peggy. Um, and if they are going to end Agent Carter, which is doing well, I mean, let's be honest. Let me, let me explain something about Agent Carter and what's worked with Agent Carter right now. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., first season, first half of the season, bombed. In fact, they lost a lot of fans. I kept with it as as slow as the train was going. I kept with it, and I was glad I did, because once you got into Winter Soldier and the tie-in and everything, it, it, they learned. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of uh, longer seasons in television. Um, even though America is seemingly, for the last 15 years, been going to... Uh, kind of a British model, if you will, a European model of shorter seasons and having event series. Um, they've done well with Agent Carter, bringing it in. Um, ABC and Disney learned with their mistake with Once Upon a Time. They had Once Upon a Time in Neverland. It was originally supposed to be a fill-in between the mid-season finale and mid-season premiere of Once Upon a Time. Disney got greedy and thought that they could launch it as its own series, put it on Thursday nights, didn't do too well. Mistake learned. Um, they did well with Agent Carter. They put it in to fill in that mid-season and you know mid-season finale to mid-season premiere of Agents of Shield, and it's done well. Here's the whole thing. Right now, they're working on a series with Lance Hunter and Bobby Morse, Mockingbird. Um, and uh, it's called Marvel's Most Wanted. If that's the case, where are they going to put it? Um, some people have talked about the possibility of it being its own series. Uh, they're looking at, like, what's going on with Netflix, uh, how Daredevil and now Jessica Jones have both uh, had critical acclaim and good numbers, but would 
it work on regular network television to have two Marvel series. On top of that, they're also working on a half-hour comedy based on the comedy comic book Damage Control, which, I don't know, I'm not... Uh, of all the Marvel series, uh, I'm not... I'm not holding out hope for it. Um, and I, I read the first um, mini-series of Damage Control um, and read it for a little bit when, when it became its own series, but I think there's only so much comedy you can do in comics, and when you think that Marvel uh, is kind of grounded in the neo-realism uh, that... Um, other comic book movies, uh, aka Batman Begins, has had, it really pulls that um, apart. But getting back to the main point, is Agent Carter ending? I think it's a good possibility. It seems, uh, especially with last night's episode, or this week's episode, where... Um, it seems that she's falling for Dave Souza, uh, and we know Agent Souza is fallen, has fallen, has had feelings for Peggy since last season, and uh, we don't know much about his backstory except that he was a soldier and lost a leg. I believe it's possible that um, he was the man that Cap saved, um, and thus for fulfilling that little plot point where Peggy talks about her husband having been saved by Steve, you know, Cap here. Um, so it's, it's very possible. I think they could, they could try to tie it up neat. Um, but if they don't know that it's ending and I believe next week is the last episode, um, then I don't know, you, you might have to bring it back for one more season to just kind of tie things neatly, or um, you could do an event season, um, but it's going to be, <clears throat> it's going to be one of these things where it's going to be um, highly interesting to see how uh, they could possibly do it. Um, the other thing to consider is that most Wanted, Marvel's Most Wanted, has only been ordered to pilot. It hasn't been ordered to series. So I think that would be a, a telling sign is if we get a thing in the next couple of weeks that says that ABC and um, Disney have ordered it to series, I think that's a good indication that Agent Carter is over. Um, because it would make sense to put it in that same time slot, um, it would be hopefully a little bit different because um, if it's going to be very similar to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I think it's going to lose its ratings, and I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. could lose its ratings. The, the thing about Agent Carter is it's the beginning of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's kind of like um, seeing how the shield that we have now ties into the shield um, of the past, or the SSR as it's called. Um, the other thing is that's interesting too is this season has been tying in a lot more with um, what's been going on with um, what's been going on with uh, the the uh, other planet, if you will, um, the creature that's now. Um, inside Ward. So there's there's a good deal of tie-in, whereas um, last season maybe not so much as uh, it could have been, and that might be again where they learned from their mistakes. But um, anyway, that's it. You know, I just think that uh, it's a good chance if. Uh, Most Wanted does get called to go to, uh, you know, series, then Agent Carter may be ending, or they may try to figure a way of keeping both series go uh, going, uh, maybe even bring Agent Carter back as a summer series, uh, but 
Who knows? Let me know what you think. Is Agent Carter ending? Could it come back as a summer series? Could it even go to Netflix and be a little more risque? Comment down below. Give me a like. Subscribe. Geek out.